Hello friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 97 in Azure Data Factory playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can check per pipeline execution details in the billing report for Data Factory. So that means whenever you execute something in Data Factory, you get some cost behind it, right? You have to pay the bill for it, right? So previously, for your entire Data Factory, the bill used to given that means for your entire data factory let's assume hundred dollars or something like that so now in this data factory you can check for each pipeline level also what is the cost for example if i have pipeline one and pipeline two so for pipeline one what is the cost and for pipeline two what is the cost so that breakdown is now available in azure data factory so let me practically show you that so to enable this feature what you need to do inside a data factory under management hub under factory settings you have to select this by pipeline show billing report and then you have to hit the publish button to save the changes once the changes get saved you have to wait for at least 24 hours to see the details so let me practically show you this first so let's go back to browser so this is my azure portal here so let me navigate to some data factory so we have so many data factories here for example, if I go to ADF Mahir, under ADF Mahir Data Factory, under Settings, I enabled it. So let me hit Launch Studio here. So our Data Factory loaded here. Now if I go to Management Hub and if I go to Factory Settings, this is where I can see Show Billing Report I have already selected for by Pipeline. So in your case, it may be by Data Factory. You need to change this option here and hit the Publish button. So once you do that, you need to wait for 24 hours and then go back to your Azure portal, go to your subscription. So I am opening my subscription here and inside the subscription, you need to go to cost analysis. That's where you can see the billing details of any data factory or whatever the resource it is, right? This you guys already know it. So now what we have to do inside this cost analysis itself, we need to enable some preview settings to view per pipeline cost details. Let me practically show you that. Right now, I am inside the cost analysis. So here, what I can do, uh, I can select the dates and uh, I can select the resource type. So there are a lot of things. So I'm not going to dis detailly discuss about these things. You can explore by one. So now let me do one thing. Let me go to try preview and you can hit either this go to preview portal or you enable all these preview settings here, whatever you are seeing here. So let me enable this all these previews. Why? Because this per pipeline billing report will be available only when you enable this preview in future it may appear directly also here so for now just enable the uh, preview options and reopen the cost management here so let's wait for the cost management to reopen here and if you remember my data factory name is adf mahir so let me go to adf mahir under cost analysis preview here i have to i, I will get a option to search by resource level so let me hit this by resource level and this is where I can filter for my data factory. And right now you will be seeing a November month, November month here. So my execution, I have some executions for the October month where I have some billing generated for the data factory. So let me select the October month here. So I selected it and here now let's try to filter for my data factory ADF hyphen Mahir. You can filter like this or you can check below also. So, so right now I filtered so you can see my data factory here if I enlarge this and if I scroll down see this is where I can see by pipeline level what is the billing happen so for this pipeline it is 0 0.23 repos uh, and uh, you can see for this pipeline it is 109.87 rupees so every detail you, you can see detail here for per pipeline level not only that it is showing by trigger level also I have few triggers created so for this trigger what is the cost generated for this pipeline what is the cost generated so you can see this detailed view now so thanks to microsoft data factory team actually for doing this this will actually help many customers to understand where actually their cost is going in which pipeline and they can take a call whether to uh, optimize that pipeline to reduce the cost and all so thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos Thank you so much.